finished up a bunch of work at a yacht club on the west side. Heading toward Grand Portage, Minnesota. No co-pilot. Going up this little trail. It's supposed to be the Grand Portage National Monument. I don't know what to expect. Should be good though, right? I, think I found the monument. That's it right there. It's got to be it. This is more like it. can pause here to read this, but this is what you're looking at. Please don't let me live to regret this decision. My first like solo multi-day. Should be good though. Boats. Trip to Isle Royale and partial hearing loss brought to you by the Voyager 2. Wear your earplugs. Did like <clears throat> 11 miles, like six hours. This is Lake Desor. That that Desor that Desor. The longest day is behind me. My mouth might be yellow from dinner, like curry. No, nothing. The most claustrophobic tent I could possibly find. It's an island inside of a lake. Inside of an island. Inside of a lake. Catch a lake. End of day two. Eight-ish miles. This is the little pathway back up to camp. Morning of day four, just leaving East Chicken Bone. It's supposed to take like 8.8 .8 miles, but it took like 10.8. Um, got here like 2 p.m. yesterday. Got a couple foxes on camera. Look at this. Last night was like the, the coldest night, probably mid 40s. My sleeping bag is rated to negative five Celsius, which He's like 23, 24 Fahrenheit, but it throws my ass off. It's uh, had me thinking 
you know, maybe finally just try to get naked in the sleeping bag. People say it's supposed to keep you warmer. So I stuck that out for about 20 minutes. <laughs> that sleeping bag was cold against the skin. But I'll tell you what did warm me up. Being so frustrated, putting back all my clothes on in that tiny sleeping bag, confined in that tiny one-person tent. Still no moose. Fantastic. This is it. On the docks at Daisy Farm. Cup of Joe. Six and a half-ish miles today, and then uh, just waiting the rest of the day, sleeping here. Back to Grand Portage in the morning.